Well, good evening. I'm Brian Reagan. This is Tyler Kelly. And we are coming to you with our Tuesday Twilight Talk. And uh, we are in Revelation chapter 5. I had mentioned Sunday evening that, Lord willing, uh, we would delve into a couple other things in Revelation 5 that we ran out of time for on Sunday night. And so that is what we are going to do. And uh, Tyler, if you would read uh, Revelation 5, verse 9 for us. And I sang a new song, saying, You are worthy to take the scroll and to open its seals, for you were slain, and have redeemed us to God by your blood, out of every tribe and tongue and people and nation. All right. And actually, go on ahead and hit verse 10. And have made us kings and priests to our God, and we shall reign on the earth. All right. And when we go back over to Daniel chapter 7, we start to see this. Daniel chapter 7, beginning at verse 9. And the word of God says there, And I beheld till thrones were cast down, and the Ancient of Days did sit, whose garment was white as snow, the hair of his head like pure wool, his throne like fiery flame, his wheels as burning fire. And a fiery stream issued and came forth from before him. Thousand thousands ministered unto him, and ten thousand times ten thousand that stood before him. And judgment was set, and the books were opened. And I beheld because of the voice of the great words which were the horn spoke. This is uh, talking about uh, uh, the uh, Roman Empire right here. We don't have time to go into that, but... Um, and he says, Now beheld till the beast was slain, his body destroyed, as concerning the rest of the beast, they had their dominions taken away. Go on ahead to verse 13. And I saw in the night visions, and behold, one like the Son of Man came with the clouds of heaven and came to the Ancient of Days, and they brought him near before him. And there was given him dominion and glory and a kingdom that all people, nations, and languages should serve him. And his dominion is an everlasting dominion, which shall not pass away, and his kingdom, that which shall not be destroyed. And so right here, what you have in Daniel is you see this imagery. And this imagery uh, is looking forward to the crucifixion. What Jesus does there, that after his crucifixion, Jesus will come and uh, Matthew 28, he will say to the apostles, Matthew 28, 18, All authority has been given to me in heaven and in, what, Tyler? And on earth, right? And on earth. Go ye therefore. Now, we're going to come back to that a little bit more in depth. But the simple fact is, even the Old Testament, when people say, oh... It's all about the Jew. No. Daniel, who was a Jew, I always have to laugh when people say God's, God's people are the Jews. Um, well, in Exodus, he's called the God of the Hebrews. He calls himself the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, all three of whom were not Jews. Jews. They were Hebrews. Um, but it's like Israel never existed. Israel is the people, never existed. And, uh, you know, and Daniel here, as a Jew in a foreign captivity land, where he's been deported to, out of his own land, um, that it said, he says that the Son of Man receives from the Ancient of Days a kingdom that is made up of all peoples and nations and languages. And so this point back here in Revelation chapter 5 that we see, you have redeemed to us, you have redeemed us to God by your blood out of every kindred and every tongue and every people and every nation. John to Daniel, 700 years between the two. One was looking forward to Christ, the other by the Holy Spirit was looking back at Christ's work at Calvary. And it is just a fascinating thing 
how literally across four empires, eight centuries, and four different languages that the word of God is still in perfect harmony. Tyler, do you have some other thoughts on that? No, sir. All right, then. Then we bid you good night. And remember, if you are one of the lambs, then you are a kingdom of priests. And we'll deal with that more on Thursday night's meditation. We look forward to seeing you then.